Hello and welcome to another episode of Jacob's House of Rock. And today I'm doing another part in my little series where we'll be going through various uh, guitars and uh, modifications and setups to uh, get you that Tony Iommi tone, basically. So in this episode, uh, it's an episode that's long overdue, by the way, um, I'm going to review the uh, John Birch uh, Heaven and Hell pickups. So that would be the John Birch Hyperflux 5 and the Magnum 4. So these are beautiful pickups that I got straight from the UK. So uh, let's take a closer look at these because I really... One one thing I really love about these pickups is they look gorgeous. They um probably not coming out as best as I wanted it to on screen at the moment. Just hold on so my camera can focus. There you go. Uh, Unfortunately, they're a little dusty. I should have cleaned them just before the review, but um, yeah, they they look really badass, and they got those uh, cool uh, cool row of screws going down them. So these are humbucking pickups that are uh, made by uh, the John Birch Company uh, guitar uh, manufacturer. That's um, basically John Birch. For those of you who don't know, he was uh, Tony Iommi's guitar tech back in the day. He's the one who basically modded. Uh, Tony Iommi's original monkey guitar and uh, did a lot of other guitars for him in the future. So they have a very close linked history uh, together, John Birch and Tony Iommi. So he's the one that made, you know, those, those original modified P90s in Tony Iommi's original monkey SG. So these pickups, the reason they're called the Heaven and Hell set is they're modeled to um, sound very similar uh, and be like the same tone and feel as the pickups that Tony Iommi used on some of those later Sabbath albums, in particular the Heaven and Hell years, uh, you know, the album Heaven and Hell with, um, you know, later on in Black Sabbath's career in the 80s with Dio on vocals, so really monstrous guitar tone on those albums and for these, um, for what they are, I'd say these pickups are actually a really great deal. Um, I mean, uh, I don't have the most money in the world, I'm pretty poor, so uh, I couldn't go out and just uh, buy all the like two, three hundred dollar Seymour Duncan whatever type random pickups. So these were about, I think they were 99 pounds for both of them. So that equates to a bit more in, uh, well, quite a lot more in Australian currency. However, these pickups sound awesome. I'm really happy with these, actually. So, um, uh, what was your name? John, John Diggins, I think? Wh whoever's running the John Birch uh, company at the moment, uh, I, talked to, I talked with him a lot on, uh, what was it called? through email that's it uh, I apologize for forgetting all these little details um, it's been I've I've been uh, really busy for the last couple of months so I was meant to do this a bit earlier but alas here's the review of these so um, I'll just uh, before I get further into the review I'm just gonna kind of show you a quick little uh, montage of photos of me installing these pickups and uh, how that process went and, you know, how they looked out of the box and everything. So I'll uh, just uh, cut to that. So there you got a good look at me uh, installing these pickups. As you can see, it was a really simple process, really. 
Um, I've actually started a little service where if somebody wants me to install some, uh, swap out some pickups in their guitar, I will do it for dirt cheap uh, at the moment. So um, do uh, check out my um, the Atomic Vinyl Reviews Facebook uh, page. I'll have links to my ad for that or just contact me and um, yeah, so if you're in the Brisbane, Australia you know, region uh, uh, I will be more than happy to do that for much less than anyone else that I've seen doing it. So uh, r Random selfless, uh, I mean <laughs> self-indulgent publicity there, but back to the the uh, pickups So the great thing about these as you can see is they had those um, m Those multiple wires coming out of the ends so you can coil tap them you can um, Make them so you can use just the single coil pickups within them and do all sorts of crazy combos and and just uh, mess around with lots of switches and other stuff and I may may or may not do that as a future video. Uh, I didn't uh, go for any of that, I just installed these stock, just how the guitar was wired. Uh, but uh, that is definitely a possibility and there can be a lot of fun options with that. So a great little feature. Um, uh, I'll just bring up this guitar really quick. This is a Greg Bennett Torino. So this is, you know, obviously an SG style guitar. It has a bit of a rounder and flatter body, but it has a beautiful um, cherry red finish and this thick gloss. And um, aside from looking really cool, especially with these pickups, because these pickups with the, you know, all the screws and the, and the just the, how metallic and just they really look very Black Sabbath-y, and that engraving in them, um, very cool. So I love that, but aside from that, this guitar is um, the best feeling uh, guitar I've pretty much ever played. The neck feels incredible because it's um, rounded kind of really nicely on the fretboard and has a very thin neck. So even though this is a uh, pretty much a cheaper um, guitar that comes out of Asia. I think I think it might come out of the court factory in Korea, which I've heard is a, a really good uh, place in Asia for, for guitars. They put a little more effort into their budget guitars. I may or may not be wrong about that. However, um, this guitar overall I'd say is just really well built, feels amazing to play, and perfectly complements these pickups. Uh, aside from that, aside from installing the pickups, the only other modifications I've done to this is I've changed the uh, tone knobs to these uh, sort of vintage amp style ones. I just thought that would kind of fit a little better with the Black Sabbath theme. And I've also, on a recommendation, I have changed out the volume pot for a 1 meg pot on the bridge pickup. So hopefully like i've tested it out i don't think there's much difference but uh i was gonna test uh, change out the neck pickup one as well but i figured um i kind of like the uh the neck pickup to be even bassier just to kind of have more more dynamic range with the tones you can get out of this thing but yeah i love this guitar and especially with these pickups it's really brought this thing to life because uh, the ones that were in here before, there was nothing too special about them. They were definitely, you know, you could work with them, but they they didn't have, like, their own sort of unique quality that they brought to the instrument. And I feel these ones really do. And they respond really well to down-tuning. So, again, they have a, you know, great bassy response. So I do tend to have this guitar tuned down to, like, I don't know... Uh, drop C sharp or something weird And we'll get to hear that in a second so yeah very very much uh, enjoying these pickups and um, uh, the, the reason I was gonna I'm doing this review is because Nobody else has um, the, just like one or two people have put out reviews of these pickups and considering they're um, really affordable for for the uh, quality of pickups. I, I, I believe um, it's very worth it. Um, the only other uh, person that I've uh, seen put out a good review is, um, uh, I forgot his name, I forgot his name, but um, somewhere from Europe, I believe, it's a YouTuber who did a lot of the, the demos of these pickups and of some like um, custom P90s and he, like I talked to him on YouTube in the comments and like got some uh, he was one of my main sources of ideas and info 
research regarding a lot of this um, stuff that I'm doing in this uh, YouTube series. So I'll definitely have a link to his YouTube page down below as well, because um, his playing is just awesome. Like, the way he covers Black Sabbath stuff is, like, really on point, down to the playing and the tone. So much better than anything I, I, I would be able to do in this series. Um, to be honest, I only just know a couple of riffs here and there, so most of this uh, demo will be my improvised playing. But um, don't let that stop you watching the video, because these pickups um, really are worth, <laughs> worth a listen. Um, yeah, so with with that, uh, we'll get to uh, trying to doing this demo. So w the way I'll be doing it is basically I'll just have my L uh, Laney LC50-112 combo mic'd with an SM57 microphone so you get a that nice Laney distorted sound. And um, yeah, we'll just go through cleans dis and dirty sounds and I'll change up the tuning here and there and just basically do a free-for-all sort of sound demo and um, you know I'll be recording it uh, properly with the microphone through my interface so we'll get some nice really clean sounds <laughs>
All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that sound demo. Um, I forgot to mention one thing uh, earlier on is that apparently these these uh, new pickups, the ones that they're they're making now at um, John Birch Guitars, they're uh, using a process called uh, where they make uh, CEM magnets, and I forgot the first word, but uh, it's something enhanced magnets, and uh, the something word means uh, something like uh, using cold, like uh, liquid nitrogen type cold, I believe. So uh, cryogenically, I think it's cryogenically enhanced magnets, something like that. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, so apparently, and I, I, I'm getting this this uh, info from that other YouTuber that I was uh, talking about earlier, who has those great uh, Sabbath covers, who really nails the the Sabbath sound. Um, he had the, a pair of uh, these pickups, the Heaven and Hell set, back before they were doing that. So so, so an older pair. Back then, I don't think they had the um, what do you call it, the coil tapping ability either. Um, don't quote me on that either. It's just what I remember back when I did all this research uh, like a month or two ago. Um, but yeah, so apparently they, these have gotten even better. There's more clarity and dynamics in the sound, which is really good. Um, overall though, these pickups have a... I feel like um, they're very responsive, but they also they have a very specific sort of voicing to them. Like, if you, if you dig that sound, then you'll love these pickups. But... Um, if you're after something else, then they probably won't do it for you. Uh, I, for one, really enjoy these pickups. I'm actually really happy with uh, with these. They really brought this guitar to life for me. Because um, the ones that were in here, there was nothing too special about these. But these, I feel like they have their own character, which is really cool. Um, and now this is, you know, a guitar that I'm really proud of. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my review of these pickups. Uh, I highly, if you if you like what you hear, I recommend picking these up. I don't think you'll be disappointed. But do bear in mind these are uh, these are the more uh, bassy pickups. So if you're you know into down tuning and you like the guitar to be very bassy and like have a you know a very thick sound, these are really good. Um, they they can cut through a mix if you wanted to. But you have to have, you know, it on full treble. So these aren't going to be like, um, you know, like plugging a, a strat into an amp and, you know, um, soloing away or anything. But you can, these sound really beautiful and especially with down tuned and I love the cleans from these. They sound really jazzy. Um, it's hard to explain it, but they just, uh, the cleans on them are amazing, especially the bass pickup. They sound uh, very full, which I love. Um, no much more to say about these pickups. It's really just a case of you gotta you gotta hear them and you gotta just have have them on your guitar and just feel um, feel what they what they like play like basically. But um, but if you want a uh, a just a, a great set of solid humbucking pickups, they'll get you that that uh, Sabbath esque tone and just like that sort of sound that I, I I'd say you can't really go much better than these even though I love those p90 pickups um, I'm kind of torn at the moment which ones I prefer um, at the moment I'm kind of leaning towards these but I don't know thing is I have like a with those other p90 pickups that I had made uh, I love the sound of those uh, but it's kind of the guitar that they're in that's kind of, I think, uh, making me lean towards these. Because like I said, this guitar, very ergonomic, feels amazing to play. It has uh, fairly low frets, so that I, I like low frets. <laughs> I've, I've realized since, uh, since I got, um, I'll just bring it in, since I got this guitar. So I'll be doing a review of these pickups next. Um, just uh, just quickly, I will say that these are great pickups. Um, I highly recommend uh, checking um, uh, Wham for Sound pickups out, but um, for you know getting some stuff done. But I'm kind of like uh, on the fence about this guitar actually because of these uh, really uh, big jumbo frets. They kind of me and them don't mesh quite as quite yet. But um, some beautiful sounds though from this. Also. 
also, I wanted you guys to bear in mind that uh, this guitar has fairly old strings, so it's probably not, uh, you know, going to be the best in terms of, you know, getting all the clarity and that, like, sharp tone that you, that you can get from these strings. But uh, I've tried to, you know, um, make the strings sound as nice as possible. Like, uh, there's a technique where you tug on the strings like that, and it's usually a technique that I use for bass. It really, you know, makes the strings sound like new. It, it, it does actually work on the wound strings on a guitar, so it's a cool little uh, side tip there for you guys who are in need of brightening up your strings before a show, just like on the whim. So you just do like that for like two minutes on, on each string, and then they should be pretty spanky. So, um, that's it for this review. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and especially comment down below. Like, um, have you had any experience with these pickups? Like, uh, what do you think of John Birch pickups? And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I make it a point to answer, to get to uh, all, if uh, as many, if not all, of the comments uh, that come come uh, down in the comment section. So. Yeah, without further ado, peace out guys, keep rockin'.